The Beaverton Portraits of Canadiosity, Peter Mansbridge. Although it may not feel like it, there was a time when Peter Mansbridge did not host the National. In fact, Mansbridge spent his early years at a top secret government agency known as OPTIC. Since the 60s, OPTIC has been tasked with protecting Canada from internal strife and upheaval by training a news anchor so boring and uninquisitive that their reporting would never spur a single person to action. That anchor was Peter Mansbridge. From the age of 12, Mansbridge was taught the ancient art of banality. At 13, Mansbridge could disarm an explosive scoop while blindfolded. At 14, he had gone bald, which is the most neutral hairstyle. He was, in a word, a prodigy. It was only a matter of time before Mansbridge took over the National. His abilities had become so powerful that he would be called in to cool down volatile situations all over Canada. Optic officials credit his bland reporting for the separatist loss in the Quebec referendum. During the Harper years, instead of investigating rising Islamophobia or global warming, Mansbridge lulled Canadians into a pleasant hypnotic trance by lobbing softball questions to our political leaders. However, Mansbridge's greatest weapon of mass obstruction isn't his TV show, it's his voice. A leaked optic report revealed that Mansbridge's silky baritone is at the exact resonant frequency of the human lizard brain. This also explains why lizards cannot approach Mansbridge without falling asleep. But Mansbridge's crowning achievement would come in 2016 when he voiced a cartoon news anchor named Peter Moosebridge in the American children's film Zootopia, a reference that neither children nor Americans would understand. A perfectly insubstantial end to a career of no substance. This has been a Beaverton portrait of Canadiosity.